hope you're enjoying I haven't. Is there anything that I can do for you? in his eye and send forth my undertaker!
Is there anything personal?
So yeah, we're back everybody, you know, I just realized that this whole time my mic was muted, so yeah, I was talking to myself, hope you guys don't mind, and I was going on this big old rant about how great Neverwinter is, the lies I tell, but yeah. Well, I'll probably review that, but yeah, we're halfway to 72, you know, almost there. Alright, next mission is to speak with Obeya Uday. Uday. Let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Look at this lag, dude. There's no point in having so many NPCs in this one area. It's literally unnecessary. What's up, girl? What's your name? Huh. <laughs> hey. You looking fa 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 Alright, back to here. Loading screen on the way. Back to doing uh, unnecessary things and never went here. So, what I was explaining before I realized I had my mic muted this whole time was that the fact is that never went here is a shit show. Once again, sorry for my language, it's to get my opinion across um, one of my biggest issues in this game is the, f the fact that is that there's no replayability um, and that's mainly because back in the day you know I used to have so many dungeons what like six seven dungeons all tier one tier two dungeons that you could farm easy gear on 
that's what I just missed the most. The gear, tier one, tier two gear that you can farm. Dungeons for the replayability for dungeons were there. Nowadays, you have all these unnecessary maps with these missing core aspects of the game, like the way that Neverwinter is now. You know, this new Gith race that's coming out. Whatever that's supposed to be, it's still gonna be worse than the Metallic Dragonborn. So it doesn't matter. You know, you still need a pay to win race to have the best in slot, which I have both Dragonborn and Metallic, so come at me, ya yeet. And I just don't understand why this game's so money hungry for certain things that could easily be achieved just by having a by listening to your player base. Look at Fortnite for instance. I know, oh my god, Fortnite and, and Neverwinter are two different things. I know. I, I know. I, I play both games. I've been playing both games since they both came out. Um, but the one thing that Fortnite did do and hopefully still does is listen to their player base. You know, and having a good player base, a high player base, brings in more revenue than having a low player base and you needing to release a module that so you can have a, a proportional gain which by far is the dumbest thing ever so if one of you any of you idiots sat there and spent 15,000 zen on this pack or however much it costs you probably need need to get your life in track because you are basically a dumbass whether you're rich whether you're Unless you're just you're you're rich and game, yes, you go for it, buddy. You spend your millions of AD that you have, you know. I bet you sat there and played the market all day in your life. Whether you got it like that, but if you literally just sat there and spent a hundred and fifty dollars on something so unnecessary, it baffles me that you actually sat there and said, "Oh, this is a great idea. Let me do it." Other than that, what I was saying was that there's so many things that this game can go through, but instead they rather release an, a mod that basically completely contradicts the fact that the whole core, the whole title of the game is Neverwinter, Dungeons and Dragons. Like this game is literally missing the whole point of. The the system. If you want to have a game that's high end or basically not pay to win but still playable and have pay aspects to it, then just go with Terra route. You know what I mean? Terra had microtransactions all the time. They had skins and stuff that you can buy from the shop to make your character even look more fun and enjoyable. Who doesn't want to do that? You guys had loot boxes that didn't even make your character better but just gave you loot. Besides the pants or whatever, but who really cares about shirt and pants? Come on now, who cares about that? It's not even that big of a of a um, power gain. You can live without it. So I just think that Neverwinter needs more of a replayable system than this trash old leveling system that they keep adding in for no reason. You know, back in the day when you can get the Avatar of War set and from or the high vizier set or oh my god those are the only two sets I remember because I only played mage and and barbarian when well, you can sit there and farm the main hand and off hand from CN and I'm talking about the CN not the this 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 thing that you call uh what is it Orcus whatever his name is I'm talking about the Dracolich CN where you can sit there and farm and kite the ads when you had the old mage as a boss instead of a a Cthulhu or whatever his name is and a, a eyeball I forgot their names too beholders that's what they're called you know it's the dumbest thing ever and this game is missing so much of its old aspect that it's just getting so tiresome of sitting here and playing a game that does not listen to their player base and it's it's literally just dragging the game down and costing them 
basically more money. Imagine having a game with a a thousand more a thousand percent more player base than it has now. That's how it used to be back in the day. You know, the good days when <laughs> you can sit there and farm a tier two dungeon and basically make money. Sit there and shoot. You can have like what? How much was back then? You can refine up to 24 castle diamonds, but that was per character. You can sit there and move pieces to other characters, or you can just sell them. You had the option to sell them. Uh, I feel like this game just needs more of a of a hitch. I think it's missing so much, so much potential because of what their focus is, and that's just money. Money, money, money. Which I'm telling you, man, they're they're losing out on so much money. Like they could easily make more money if they just played their cards right. But they don't do that because they think, you know, having a chunk of money at once instead of having cash flowing in all together year round is a more of a better investment. For instance, say if you made, say if they dropped this mod right, and they made just from this mod itself, like when they dropped it, I'm talking about from these little packs and stuff that they sell. And they made only a hundred thousand, right? But then after that, they didn't make anything else. Th th don't get me wrong; that's totally incorrect numbers. I mean, obviously they made way more than that because you still have to pay everybody. But I'm just 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 hypothetical, hundred thousand, right? And then instead of doing that, they sat there and they didn't release a pack, but instead they released more dungeons that were not time gated, but campaign gated but the way the loot system works now is that the way you get the best in slot gear is instead of it being by seal chance you have to it's uh, just a regular chance from that chest itself you know like most of the dungeons now which I don't know about this this set gear that you get from mod 16 if it's in the if you have to buy with um, seals or not but I know in the past ones that it's all been just straight up seals, 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 seals. And I guess that kept the continuity or basically the player base to keep playing that dungeon. But I know people got so sick and tired of sitting there and farming countless amount of hours just to be able to get some seals. And then once you did it, you couldn't even sell the gear because... It's seal bought. What? And then the only gear you can sell is masterwork gear, and that costs like a hundred mil itself. Who wants to sit there and, and masterwork? Bro, you can literally put loot boxes in the game and wear like a f a freaking tiger mask that costs two dollars, and people will literally pay for that. And I bet you, if they did something similar to Terra's loot box system. Or and or their weapon system, like their weapon changes and stuff. I bet you, this game will be making bank. Forget a hundred thousand. Imagine them all year round, just off of microtransaction themselves, made instead of a hundred thousand, ten million dollars. That like, remember, this is hypothetical. We were basing off of just one increment segment of one mod, and a whole year that's literally what ten, 100,000 10 million that's what a thousand percent something like that but that's basically a hundred times more amount of money that they could have made is if they just just did it right but they didn't do it right because you know what the studios whoever controls these um, these developers pockets don't understand what keeping a player base is they think it's better to uh, my god I should never activate that chest I think it's better to make a lump of money in one segment and lose more of their player base than keeping their player base and making a lump sum throughout the course of the year which by far is the most dumbest thing that I can ever think of 
and I know this whole me ranting thing has been all over the place about how this game should be and what's that and that but that's just how most of my rants are I just talk about whatever just comes to mind I'm literally going off the top of my head <laughs> I don't have anything scripted so <laughs> I'm just saying stuff that just comes to my head but yeah so far this this little expedition I'm doing it's really boring once again I just don't understand why it's so boring like why do they make these things what for? I mean I get it, it's fun and all of it. I guess to them it's fun, but to me it's god awfully boring. Like this is literally I could probably play like eighteen matches of Fortnite and not be bored and not be bored and sit here and instead of sitting here and playing this game but the thing about this this game I just love it like alright we're back um, video cut off so I guess this will be a part one I mean part two of my level 72 oh I got that again I need to pay attention level 72 80 row to 25k cause my video cut off so oh well but yeah. Hoo hoo. We. So far, I'm enjoying this. I mean, even though I don't like playing this game, but it's literally one of my favorite games, and I've given it so many chances. And I'm still going to keep giving them more chances until they do something right, which I don't think that will ever happen. But when they do, I'll be there to tell all the haters, I told you so. Because, I'm telling you man, this game is the shit. I missed. Dude, how many ads do I have to kill? This is so annoying. Like, why do you have to kill 80 ads just to progress through? Is that the only ad here? I guess so. I feel so much weaker now, but I guess that's because the ads are getting harder and I'm getting weaker because of these weapons that I have on. You know, my 16 weapon straight trash. Oh, I have all that stuff. Bro, are you serious? Can, can I please use my mount? This is so ridiculous. Oh my god, dude. Where's the ads now? Toxic. Toxic. Where's the ads for a cod like bar? These people are racist. I'm telling you, man. So many racist things I never went to, I don't understand. Who allows them to sit there and be racist like this? really um this isn't really this really doesn't tickle my pickle for say like these expeditions are all right i mean it's really boring i guess when you're doing a solo but it could be better i mean who knows probably when we hit 80 we'll have like a bunch of people here to run it with i guess so it'll be much enjoyable but hopefully this door's open now because i really want to get out of here Oh look, it's Blackbeard the Invincible. Let me stop.
Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Does it doesn't drop me anything? Wow. So far, not really enjoyable. I, there's no point in me picking that up because I haven't picked up any of the other ones. Uh, okay. My sprint doesn't work apparently. And that's it for that run, guys. <clears throat> Alright, let's get out of here and turn this mission in. Oh, that is bright. Shine bright like a diamond. Hopefully we hit level 72, and then we can end this video and continue. Let's go. Alright guys, ending this, gonna hit, bye, continue with row 2, 25k, tomorrow.